Sunday morning and we're coming to you here from Tabangchu all the way out in the Free State on this voter registration weekend and pretty excited uh, to be visiting the school Petokhane High School um, situated in Tabanchu and we're going to be speaking to some of the recipients of uh, the infrastructure that's been put in place right here at the school. Hello, hello. Thank you so much for joining us. So what is your take on this uh, magnificent infrastructure that's been put in place for you guys? It's a very wonderful thing for us children because they, they are open officially and then we can use it like uh, on daily basis. Like when you want information we can come like freely and then use them. There were some of the challenges that you guys are experiencing in terms of connectivity. Would you like to share them with us? Yes, we were having connection problems before but now like when we use them now recently it was fine. We were, it was fine. Um, Principal, you were talking about the growth of the school. When it started, it had very little classes, but it looks like, no, um, the, the school has actually grown. Very much. Um, we started very, in 77 when we started, yeah, um, there were few classes, um, four of them, in, in actual fact. But today it has grown up to 22 classrooms, um, two labs, um, laboratories, two media centers, the library, the media center, and it's, it's, it's growing, it's growing as we speak, even today. Um, the Imbiza Focus Week, Principal, yes. which is the main reason why we are here today. Um, um, uh, we were here the last time and promises were made. And now to see the promises being actually executed this time around, how does it make you feel? It's a great, really, we are really appreciative of, you know, at times, you know, we would, we would hear people say that the government would say this but not deliver. Mm -hmm. In this case, it's contrary. We, we can attest to the fact that the government does deliver on its promises and mandate. Because we really committed to the promotion of mathematics, science and technology as an important facility. We have this facility and right next to it is a media centre uh, where we basically have committed ourselves from last year to ensure that we provide and establish a thousand libraries per annum. Uh, that's an important resource. So you have the technology on the one hand and you have your library or your media resource centre on the other hand. Basically we have a Wi-Fi facility which allows and enables our learners to access uh, ICT from any part of the school environment, which means that if we have, as they have now, a tablet, it does not necessarily have to be utilized in this particular classroom, but they also have a dedicated facility for that particular purpose. We are currently finalizing the education cloud, which would allow us to have access of all resources from grade one to grade 12. As indicated to the learners in, 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 the, in the grade 12 class, I, I, I told them that other than the Tutong site which we've established and the education cloud which I'm speaking to now, we also have a, uh, a program which we've uh, developed in partnership with UNESCO and Mixit Outreach where through a smartphone and or an ordinary phone you can access all the data and information including 200 readers. So as we close our MBSO, we reflect on, on, on our discussions with uh, the communities in the past in Bizo and how far we've reached. Here is a good example of, of the current Deputy Minister of, of, of Communication, Stella Abrams, had, had that promise. She said she would provide ICT to 11 schools. She said she would provide bursaries to 25 children. 50 children have already been the recipients of the bursaries, and nine of the 11 schools have already have the ICT. And it's clear evidence of the fact that the commitment of government in terms of responding to the needs of our, of our communities uh, has to be fulfilled. It's, it's an opportunity, it's a forum where we should listen to communities, interact with them, respond to them. It's about passing on information, about listening, and about resolving issues. But most importantly, it's about active citizens. It means that as an active citizen, you've got to engage with government, partner with government, Government and moved forward together. Here at Petrohani, we really uh, would like to appreciate um, any assistance that can be offered unto us, uh, especially into um, enable us to to connect into the internet. Um, so anybody or any institution or a private sector that will be able to can assist us, we will greatly um, appreciate. Um, that assistance. All right, that's the principal of Petokhani Secondary School right here in uh, Tabanchu, all the way out in the Free State.